Hi everyone, it's Peggy Merwin with Stamp with Peggy. Today is Monday, December 26th, the day after Christmas. Hopefully everybody had a wonderful time. Um, you may have more celebrations coming. We have, our kids are coming this weekend. So we have one more coming yet this weekend. And then all of this can be put away and life can go on again. Not that it hasn't gone on, but the decorations. I did get some time to relax and enjoy the Christmas lights and stuff last week. If you were with me last week, you know that I had COVID last week. So I had a little downtime. Um, was feeling good all in all, just basically like a cold, but I did get some extra sleep and then I was able to do some other fun projects. All right, we've got lots of you coming on. Hi, Sandy, Roseanne, Jackie, Tammy. Um, I can't remember who else I saw on the screen coming up. So thank you so much for joining me. Um, cold weather last week, not quite so bad. We had a little bit of snow this morning when we got up again, but not too bad considering. Um, like I said, COVID kind of played a number on our Christmas this year a little bit. Luckily, we... The kids are coming this weekend, and now we've all been exposed, and for the most part, we've all had it. Um, the two youngest grandchildren have not come down with symptoms yet, but both mom and dad have it, so I'm sure that they will also. And then Katie and her family tested positive today, so um, she tested positive last week. So we're moving on with things and being able to be together again. Okay, so Christmas is over, and we are almost to the spring mini catalog. And there are lots of fun new spring things, obviously, and they call it the January to April, May. We changed the dates on it this year. I just call it the spring one because it's full of lots of flowers and Valentine's Day. Um, St. Patrick's the day this year, a couple of little graduation kind of sayings and things in there. So it's definitely coming up on the season and celebration, which is our favorite time of the year. We are back to only one celebration a year now. So January, February will be it. We will not have one in the summer again. So your free things are short lived this year. Okay. Let me get you up here so that I can watch for comments. Again, make sure that you comment and share in particular and like and tag people. Um, my viewer numbers on my page went over and again, it's not high to a lot of people, but I am so grateful to you guys. I went over 300 this week. So that was awesome of people who are following my page. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And keep sharing that. Okay, so, and there's Linda sharing away. Mwah. I love when she does that. Okay, so let's go ahead and flip the camera down. I can talk without you looking at my face. That's right. Okay. So we're going to flip the camera down and we're coming back up a little shaky here. All right, let's get everything into view. Okay. Don't let me forget to do the giveaways today. All right. So I think I showed you the front covers the other day, last week. Here is the spring mini. Lots of pretty purples. I can't show you the inside, but they did go out in the mail. If you've ordered from me in the last six months, um, I have put a catalog in the mail to you. It went in the mail last Thursday, so hopefully you have them now. Otherwise, they will be coming any day. And here is the celebration book. Inside with the catalog, I stuck a sheet of coupons for January and February. In addition to celebration, these are items that are just free from me in the month of January. You can use this coupon one time. When you place an order of $70 or more without any other specials or deals or clubs or anything, you can choose one of these embellishment items free. And then in February, we have some specialty papers that you can choose free. Um, I posted out January classes right now. I may do something later in the month, but I've got some things I need to take care of at the beginning of the month. So I have posted out for the January designer paper class and the paper pumpkin 
party, the key to my heart. And then I will be doing additional projects, um, alternate projects for you. And then I also put in, I'm doing a celebration party. And that is, if you would like to participate, you must place an order of at least $100. The order deadline is next Monday. You don't want to place it until Thursday, which is when the Spring Mini and Celebration Catalog begin on the 5th. And you have until Monday to place an order with me of at least $100. And then your name goes in and we will be giving away the hostess benefits. Everybody will get a prize, a half price item for somebody, the hostess, hostess stamp set, scenic garden for somebody, and then gift shopping sprees for others. So lots of fun. If you didn't get a catalog, again, please let me know and I will get one in the mail to you. Okay, so tonight we are using the Regency Park designer paper. Okay. This project is one I sent out as a thank you gift to those who placed an order with me on free shipping day, December 15th. And so some of you got a little kit in the mail. I haven't sent the tutorial yet because I wanted to make sure that you got it. And then I decided that I could share tonight and then I can email out the tutorial. So again, this is the Regency Park 6x6 paper. Look at how pretty it is with all the floral type images. And then we flip them over and we have lots of solid type images, okay? And so tonight I decided I was using this one and we're gonna go a little bit more masculine with, not necessarily with the Knight of Navy. <laughs> um, oops, I forgot my paper trimmer. Um, Knight of Navy in balmy blue. This side has beautiful flowers, um, but I decided I wanted to make this set just a little more masculine, a little more generic looking. So let me grab my paper trimmer because Cheryl DeSico, this class is for you. This is a one sheet wonder. So we are going to use one six by six paper and we're going to cut it and we're going to make four cards um, out of this paper, okay? So I will post the template in my blog post and I'll try to put it into the comments in Facebook later. I originally saw this by a Stampin' Friend, Mary Nabe, and I made some adjustments to her One Sheet Wonder to turn it into mine with a little bit of changes to the actual cards even, okay? So we're starting with this six by six. I know that I'm going to do my stripes on one of the cards going this way. So the first thing we want to do is we want to cut one inch off from this paper, okay? So we're going to line it up at the one inch mark and we're going to cut it off. That leaves us with a five by six piece of paper. We're going to take this one by six and we're going to cut it to five and an eighth, okay? So we have this little square that's garbage, okay? So there's one card. Now again, we've got our paper, it's five inches this way and six inches this way. So we're gonna cut it at two and a quarter. So we have a piece that's two and a quarter by five, okay? And now we have three and three quarters by five. We're gonna turn it and cut it at two and a half. And that gives us our four pieces of paper for our card fronts. Super simple, right? <laughs> and Sandy, I saw you were on. If you're still on, yes, absolutely super simple, okay? This is to the host code yet for this week. Next week, it will change. Okay, then I'm taking four card bases. So I have Knight of Navy that are five and a half by eight and a half, and they're scored at four and a quarter. So we are going to start... with, actually, let's just go ahead and do that on all four of the cards. Give them a nice crisp crease. If you do not have a bone folder, you need to get one of those, okay? It definitely makes your cards more finished looking than just folding the cardstock. A lot of times it's easier for us just to do this, but you really don't get as crisp of an edge on it. All right, so there's our four card bases. 
And just so you know, two are going to go this way and two are going to go this way. <coughs> and I need to find my cheaters here. Okay. I did four pieces of basic white that are, yes, 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 Sandy. Um, four pieces of basic white for the inside that are four by five and a quarter. Okay. And then I did four more basic whites that are going to be layers on here. Because if you're following me, you know I don't do just plain. Sim super simple stamping is fabulous, but you got to have some layers to make it a little fancier. Okay, then I took balmy blue and I cut the pieces. So I have four pieces that are three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And we're going to use the brand new cane weave embossing folder. Cheryl DeSico, I think I said it last week, that one makes me think of you. Okay, Cheryl does caning on chairs. So I've embossed them already. So those are going to go right onto there. So we're going to go ahead and just do that. Get this part ready. Okay, so we're going to adhere the balmy blue to the basic white with a little border. And then we're going to adhere that onto our card base. So there's one. And I thought these, these particular ones are going to be birthday cards. Um, but I also thought this is a fabulous way to use up some of your paper and make some thank you notes for those Christmas presents Thank you notes for, you know, if you hadn't done prior to teachers, to bus drivers, to the mail people who, I don't know about where you are, but our mail people had some lousy weather to deliver those final Christmas cards in those last couple of days before Christmas. <coughs> See, my cough isn't as bad as last week now either. Talking, of course, makes it a little bit worse, but all right. So there's two done. We're getting there. Hang in there. And I just ran out of adhesive. And of course, I didn't grab another one. All right. Talk amongst yourselves. Here. I've been doing some sewing the last couple days, so I have threads all over my floor for my stamp area. It's just been a good week, COVID and all. I was able to get some fun things done. But Unfortunately, that does have to be put aside because we have a demo make and take coming up in two and a half weeks. So, and we've got to get sisters retreat cards designed projects. So lots of stamping fun coming. All right, and there is the fourth card. Okay, so we have the bases all done. We'll put the insides in later. Okay, so the first one. We're gonna take and we're gonna put this designer paper down here at the bottom. Only, you know me, there's gotta be layers, right? So I've got a knight of navy that we're gonna put the designer paper on. And I am really, really fighting the urge to use this one. Gotta tell you that. But I told myself we're gonna do a little bit more masculine this time. All right, so we've got just a tiny border around our designer paper. And then we're going to adhere this to the bottom of the card. That's right, and we have a cruise to go on. I am very much looking forward to that. All right, so there's our first card, designer paper. And then there is a brand new die set, and you guys know how I love the layers, right? Um, something fancy dies, this will be in the spring mini catalog, 
And look, we have fun layers so I can do my greeting and then mount it on. There's also a coordinating stamp set, something fancy with lots and lots of great um, greetings and things on there, okay? And I will show you some cards with that in a little bit. But first, I decided this time to use this best day because I liked the greetings and then I thought I could embellish a little bit with some of these. I am not gonna use these two today. Okay, so this first card has this. And so we're gonna pull in our Knight of Navy and I also thought it would be fun to do some of these little sparklers on this one. So we're gonna ink it, we're gonna stamp it off, and I'm actually gonna stamp it off twice. And then we're gonna stamp that up on there. And then we need a big, it's the best day because it's your birthday. Can we do that on there? I think so. Okay. And then, let's get it off to the side again. And we're gonna stamp right over the top. We're gonna go full strength Knight of Navy this time. And I think that works okay, don't you? Okay, so then we're gonna adhere that onto here. I'm liking it. All right, then we need to get some dimensionals out here. And another one in the middle. Okay. Get rid of those things. And there. And we're going to come back in at the end and we're going to add some embellishments. But there's card one. Okay. And then we've got this one. And we've got our big long, our two and a quarter by five inch piece of designer paper. And we're going to put that on a two and three eighths by five and an eighth piece of Knight of Navy. And then we're going to put that down over here on the left hand side of our card. Again, leaving a little bit. I find that if I leave a little bit of a border along the edge, I don't have to worry quite so much about everything being quite so straight. Okay, blends it together. And then on this one, we have this fun layer like that. So let's see, what do we have for a greeting on this one? Hmm. Okay, we are going to do, it's all about you, happy birthday. Okay, so we're gonna put one up there. Uh, let's clean this off. You guys know all about the Simply Shammy, right? It's fabulous for cleaning quickly. Except when you stick your hands all over the ink everywhere. All right. So let's get our It's All About You. Happy birthday. And then... I'm also going to take, let's clean this one off. Okay, let's get some little confetti on there. So we're gonna stamp off so that we get some lighter shades. I could have bought balmy blue ink over here with me. Okay, and that's just going to get mounted onto our larger layer of Knight of Navy. And then we're going to attach that with dimensionals. Um, earlier tonight, I don't know if you guys have seen yet or not, um, we are done with the 12 days of Christmas. Some were done on the 12th, some finished. I got an email from someone today that they finished today. So I have released the big reveal of what was inside those projects or those envelopes. So 
that's out there. Um, I will attach it to the Facebook post. No, the blog tomorrow. It's out on Facebook right now. So you should be able to see that. There's card number two. Again, sweet and simple. We're letting the designer paper and the embossing folder do all the work. Okay, this one. Okay, we've got our stripes, and we're going to attach that onto a piece of Knight of Navy. And then we're going to attach that onto our card. like that. Okay, and then this time we have these that are going on there. And let's see, what do we want for greetings? I think this one. We will do wishing you all the wishes. Let's take this one. Stamp that on a flat surface. Love it. Okay, then let's add some of those little confettis on the side again. Give it just a little bit. Okay, and then let's get that one cleaned off and out of the way. Okay, then we're going to adhere this onto the next label. And then we're going to use some dimensionals. And then you could use that confetti stamp on the basic white pieces that we're sticking on the inside. Yay, Linda! That's to me, masculine ones are always a great thing. But this is just, again, it makes the designer paper really show well. Okay, that's number three. And then our final card is going to be an up and down again. So we have our last piece of stripe. And we're going to attach it to the basic white or the Knight of Navy. And then we're going to attach that to the front of our card. And we're just going to center it. Uh, no, we're not. I lied. We're going to go over to the left a little bit. Okay. And this time we've got just a skinny one. The die from the um, something fancy. And we're just going to stamp happy birthday. Very sweet and simple. Okay. Let's close this up so I don't get ink all over everything else. Clean that last stamp off. Okay, now we're going to adhere this to a piece of Knight of Navy. And then we're going to trim the edges to match the basic white piece. And I just got adhesive there. I know, I should have had my silicone sheet out. Okay, so we're just going to trim the ends. And then we're going to attach this with dimensionals. No, Sandy, that's an eighth of an inch. So it's a 16th inch little border. It's half a centimeter. It's actually less than half a centimeter. <laughs> oh, yay, Sue Thomas, I'm glad. How's your weather in Ohio? Okay, so there is card number four. Now let's bring our cards back in. Okay, so we got that one, that one, that one, and this one. Let's do it like this. Okay, and now we're going to pull in some new embellishments. The Enamel Dots Essential. We got some Knight of Navy. We've got some Crumb Cake. I am loving these. And then there's even some white or kind of vanilla-y ones up there. Okay, so we're going to use some Knight of Navy. And let's grab, you know what, on this one. Come on. We're just gonna grab a couple here, like there and there. 
Let's put a baby one there, okay? And then getting a little warmer each day. Yeah, so you're pretty much about the same as where we are. That's what ours is supposed to be too. It's supposed to be getting up to close to 50, so then the snow will melt. It's just kind of crazy. Okay, and now I'm just adding some of these onto the greetings. You know what? Let's put one in the center of each of those little fireworks. Ta-da! Okay, so there are the four cards. Very quick and simple. I mean, again, we are at 727, so even with my talking, um, we pre-cut. I had embossed this, but fabulous! Okay, now, you want to see four other ones? These are the four that those wonderful people who placed orders on December 15th received in their kits. They will have to stamp their own greetings, but, okay, what did I just do? I just switched those around a little bit. Okay. And there are the four cards that they received. Okay, let's scoot that up so that the whole thing shows. Okay, are you getting all of it? Yeah, I'm pretty close anyways, huh? Okay, so you have kind of the little more feminine version. This is Favored Flowers, which is a celebration paper. So you get that free with a $50 order. And then we have the masculine version, or just different colors, um, with the Regency Park set uh, designer paper that is one that purchases there is a coordinating stamp set and punch that goes with that one this one i used the new metal plates embossing folder the other set the blue set i used the cane weave embossing folder <coughs> excuse me and this uses the and i can't remember now what they're called opaque something gems okay so lots of fun new products in there Okay, I think that's everything for this week. I told you about the coupons in your catalogs. Again, if you didn't get it, let me know. The deadline for the January designer paper um, class, which is, if you have not done that before, you get, let's see, January's is 36 sheets of designer paper, 4 by 6 to 6 by 6 then you also get coordinating cardstocks. This month, there's 12 different colors, so you'll get 12 half sheets of cardstock. Um, plus, you get a surprise embellishment, and then you get card packets for six cards, plus a tutorial to be able to assemble them, and then you'll have lots and lots of designer paper left over and cardstock to be able to make lots more. Um, and the celebration party. So if you are interested in that, if you start putting your order together. Just don't place it until after the 5th so that you can get the free celebration items. Um, okay, so Jackie, your catalog has not arrived yet. Um, okay, Roseanne, I'll make sure that I get that sent out. I may have just popped it into those catalogs and did not email it out yet, so I will make sure I do that. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so those who, look at those hearts. Thank you so much. Um, those who shared, liked, commented, shared everything last week, um, thank you so much. And I have a set of, they're called red and green adhesive back pearls. They're actually the festive pearls. Um, and Linda Vanderspool, you will be getting a package of these in the mail. And then the second drawing for this week is the fine sparkle adhesive back gems. These, both of these items are leaving now. In fact, I can't remember for sure. They may not even be available anymore. They might be sold out already. But Roseanne is the winner of that. So thank you, thank you all so much. Have a great week. Have a very happy new year and be safe. And I will see you next Monday, January 2nd, 2023. Take care. Bye-bye.